Howdy! This is Lemmy with Revzilla here to talk to you today about Nelson Rig Commuter Series tail bags. You should be checking out a commuter tail bag for your motorcycle if you're looking to extend your carrying capacity. Now these things we're gonna see primarily on sport bikes, naked bikes, and adventure bikes, but I will say they're very versatile pieces as I'll show you in a little bit. Wouldn't surprise me to see these on some cruisers. I'm gonna say this is as close to a universal piece as I can imagine. Installation on these is pretty simple. I'm gonna call it a one bearder on our beard scale of difficulty. We'll explain a little bit more about the installation on these. However, I think it's actually the unique feature that sets Nelson Rig apart. So before we get into the bags themselves, let's talk briefly about Nelson Rig. If you've been riding a motorcycle for any period of time, you probably think of these guys immediately for two things, luggage and rain gear. That's what they do. They do some other stuff, but those are the things that everybody knows them for. That's because they do them exceptionally well. Not only does Nelson Rig make their own luggage, they also make luggage for other folks in the industry. They've pioneered a lot of the stuff we've seen here. So I want to talk to you about a couple of things that's common to all these pieces you can see up here, and then I'll sort of parse out what the difference is between these very quickly. But the first thing you need to know is that these things are all made of 1680D ballistic nylon. Tough stuff. Now that nylon has been UV treated. If you've been in the motorcycle game for a while, you may remember some of the nylon luggage of yesteryear. And that stuff would, you know, especially with somebody who's riding a lot of miles, catching a lot of sun, that stuff would turn either purple or gray. It would look pretty terrible. It was a badge of honor, but it also really looked bad. This stuff is UV treated. So it's going to look black for a very, very long time. The other thing you need to know too, this is constructed out of EVA panels. It means these things hold their shape. We actually don't have these stuffed right now. These are empty. You'll notice though they still have a nice attractive appearance to them. Makes them look nice when they're on the bike and they're empty. Also makes loading them a little bit simpler because you're not constantly pulling up the bag to support it as you're jamming stuff in there. Now on these particular tail bags, we've got the sport, we've got the light, we've got the touring. Obviously the difference here is the sizes of them. Now these are going to be, I think, effective for a lot of folks. Now don't get hung up on the names. I think the name's actually a little bit silly. They're calling these the commuter series of bags. However, obviously this is the touring. Well, if you're commuting, you're probably not touring. If you're touring, probably not commuting. We'll just let it go. That having been said, the real difference here is that you've just got three different sizes. Now, all of these have an expandable pocket in them, which I think is really cool. So you can pack to this size and then you can simply unzip the accordion area if you should happen to need just a little bit more packing area later or if you're on the road and you acquire something. I think that is good to know. Now, all of the nylon we talked about just here, in addition to being UV treated, also is water resistant. Some of you are gonna say, hey Lem, water resistance doesn't help me because I ride through the rain and water resistant means it's gonna leak. That's true. These things also come with waterproof rain flies. Now this is kind of nice because it gives you sort of two options. If you're zipping through a little bit of mist, you can see sunlight up ahead, not really a problem. The water resistance will probably take care of you. However, if you're in a downpour type scenario, you don't want your stuff getting wet, pull over, throw your rain fly on there and plow through with a plum. Now, having said all that, the thing that I think sets these babies apart is their attachment system. It's very unique. If you look on these, you'll notice these buckles on the side here. Straps are included to put these onto your saddle. So whether you have a one piece or a two piece seat, you can actually remove your saddle from your motorcycle. You can adjust those straps perfectly, throw them on there and your bag now becomes one with your seat. It means that you don't need lash points on your bike. This can be great for those of you who have say a sport bike, maybe you've got a tail tidy, you've removed every possible ugly thing on your motorcycle in order to make it appear sanitary. You still can rock a little bit of gear if you want to take an overnight trip or you want to bring your lunch to the office with you on the daily commute. It's uh, the mounting system is, I think, very innovative. Um, it's kind of a standout feature in the in the uh, in the luggage world, especially for those bikes that are not cruisers. Makes the installation obviously a snap. I mentioned that's a one bearder earlier. This stuff is great luggage. Uh, Nelson Briggs been in the game for a really long time, and the other thing that makes this stuff really easy for me to recommend is it's very easy on the wallet. Nothing here is out of the ballpark price-wise. It's a very affordable way to throw some stuff onto your bike if you are planning a trip without breaking the bank. Don't take my word for it, though. Click down below, see what some other riders who are rocking Nelson Rig commuter series tailbags and their bikes have to say about them. If you're not finding what you need, please feel free to get in touch with one of our very friendly, very helpful gear geeks, CS at Revzilla.com, or of course, you can always give us a call if you like, 877-792-9455. I'm Lem, I'm out of here.